Alright, what's up everyone? It's Blasty here and welcome back to another video. So, as you may have already noticed, I'm using a different mouse. Uh, this is the Glorious Model D that I ordered. Uh, it took like a week to arrive. It took like a, a bit more than a week to arrive and it arrived to Greece. So, I decided to make a video. Uh, as you can tell by the title, I'm like doing uh, the Glorious Model D versus Z Pro Wireless since this mouse is pretty new. And I know that a lot of people have done Glorious Model O versus T Pro Wireless. So I, I said, why not? And let me cue. So this mouse looks exactly like the Model O, at least from far away. The shape is a bit different, at least I think so. I, don't, I haven't used the Model O, but from the looks, uh, it looks. This reminds me of the Razer Mamba Tournament Edition in terms of shape. While the Model O, uh, at least to me, it looks like the Death Adder. It looks like it has Death Adder shape. It smells pretty light. It's uh, like 68 grams, I think. Which, I, to be honest, that's the least I care about. So as I was saying, uh, the weight of this mouse is the least I care about. I don't give a fuck about its weight. That's literally the most relevant set I've ever seen online. Hey, I'm gonna buy this mouse because it's extremely light. That will definitely make me better at the game. Yeah, I don't I don't care about that. What I care about is the mouse. Since it's a bit weird, like the holes and everything, like it, they don't just affect the weight from what I've heard. Because like it makes it double click easier from what people have told me. It's easier to t double click on, meaning you can butterfly easier and way faster. Now it's only been one day since I've had this mouse, and I don't even have. You can't even see the CPS mod. I'll change the. Oh god! Okay, there we go. Now these CPS are kind of low. It's mostly because I haven't really played today. But other than that, the CPS that I'm getting is like almost the same as the T Pro Wireless, or you could consider them the same. I just find it a bit harder to aim on this since I haven't really gotten used to it yet. And it feels really, really light, which I'm not saying that it's a bad thing, but if you don't give a fuck about a mouse's weight, then this would be like an issue with you. Because like uh, the deeper wireless is a lot heavier than this. For this mouse, it just generally feels the same as every other mouse. It, like It's not something you should be hyped about. I, I was a bit hyped about. But now that I got it, it's like every other mouse, so I'm kind of disappointed. Uh, I still like the Z Pro Wireless more though, then uh, that's like a bad thing, I suppose. It's like I wasted money on this. Okay. This kid died. Okay, good fight. And like I can't easily zero click here or like do any of that, it's much harder for me here. Um, in, but in the Z Pro Wireless, like my ma like, I mean my hand kind of follows with the mouse. Well, here I have to put pressure, so like the clicks are very different. But it does feel better, at least for butterfly clicking. Yeah, butterfly clicking feels a lot better on this mouse. Uh, but like, like I haven't gotten used to the weight, so I can't aim that well. Okay. Oh wow, this kid dropped real quick. So I killed the same kid as before. I'm like, yeah, this mouse honestly only feels better for butterfly clicking. I think you can get like 20 CPS uh, if you like uh, keep butterfly clicking on this for a while. Because like on, only on the first day, it's not going to double click that much immediately. Like it double clicks, but it's not as much as it should all. Okay. Gonna do my, I'm, I'm gonna do a match of Meteor clicking after this. So I can show like the difference with the Z Pro Wireless. Just a bit harder for me to aim on this, and this guy's sweating. And then right, okay. Look, dude, look, it's unranked. I'm only trying to make a video. I've already fought you, so you can just like. Yeah. He's not gonna back off, okay. Okay, bye bye. Okay, now I'm like gonna zero click on this mouse, and then I'm gonna switch to the Z Pro Wireless. Also, a big downside that this mouse has is that it's not wireless. Uh, trust me, after getting the Z Pro Wireless, like I can't like it's it's very weird for me to have a wired mouse. 
Like, it's extremely weird. Like, as you can see, my aim is a bit worse than usual while I'm clicking. Like, yeah, it's weird. It's a, it's a lot, lot lighter than my Tip Pro Wireless, which makes it, like, so my I can move, aim a lot easier. But I haven't gotten used to this mouse, and, like, clicking is different than the Tip Pro Wireless. Makes my aim a lot safer. And it should have been. Wombo combo. Okay. Wow. Like, it's not a bad mouse, but it's not that great of a mouse either. Okay, this guy died. And now I'm gonna switch to the deeper wireless, because you know that's what you've all been waiting for. So I'll be back in a sec. So switching to the deeper wireless is actually a lot easier than you think, because I just have it like in front of me, and I just disable it. And I just enabled it. Uh, now, this mouse, after quite a while, I can say that it's a really comfortable mouse. Like, I like its shape, how it, like, he, it's like fully round. It makes it easier for you to click. Also, the clicks are so, like, lightweight here. Like, it's so easy for me to click. Like, zero click like this. I'm gonna do, like, a, I'm gonna zero click now. So you can see, like, these, the difference in the shape and my aim. The aim is still garbage. <laughs> But you get the point. It's better than before. Okay, it's all that garbage, okay? Yeah, like, my aim is now a lot smoother while zero clicking than before. Mouse feels quite alright. Butterfly click. It's, it's not like the clicks are so e making it so easy to click on. Literally any clicking style. And this butterfly clicking is easier than the mouse. But, like, the height isn't that big here. And sometimes like I, I, I like butterfly click on the mouse pad and I can say that's the only downside to this mouse unless if you get used to this mouse and you're not gonna do that obviously but yeah that's the only downside at least for me I really like this mouse and making and it being wireless just gives it like a big advantage in comparison to the model D up yeah, like, you've always seen me PvP with this. I just find the uh, deeper wireless a lot better. Although it's a bit heavier than the Model D. But, like, the everything is, like, so much better. Like, it, the scroll wheel, the buttons here, they're way easier to press. It's not like it's hard to press the button, but, like, it's the, on the Model D, the, the buttons are harder, kind of. And just, uh, oh, and one more thing that this mouse doesn't have and I really like to have is that it doesn't have a DPI switch pattern on the top, like the Model D. It's actually, uh, if you don't, if you don't mind just going to the app to change the DPI, then okay, it's not a bad thing. But for me, like when I switch games, when I play something else, I like, I play with different DPI in this game, so... Yeah, I have, to, I have to open the app every time, then we go change the DPI from where, from there. It feels easy to butterfly click on still, easy to normal click on, zero click, you call it. It's like, it's like the most comfortable mouse ever. Oh, and yeah, I really hope that my money didn't go wasted on the Glorious Model T. Oh god. Yeah, I've gotten a lot used to this mouse, and... I just like it more. I do not think uh, that there's the, any other mouse that can compete with this currently on the market. I mean, it's always it's always about preference. But for me, I don't think there's any better mouse right now than the T Pro Wireless. It seems for me that, like the best mouse you could buy, although it's a bit more expensive than the Glorious model mouses. So I get why you wouldn't buy it, but it's not a bad option. It's like really good for everything. And I'm gonna do one more zero clicking mats. And I get, I seem, I, I saw that I'm, bleh. I'm seeing that I click more CPS on this mouse while zero clicking. I suppose I'm doing that. But I never really pay attention to my CPS when I zero click. Or on this. But my aim seems to be smoother too. Like there's less sake. And it's much easier to click on. 
Yeah. 14 CPS with this. Oh my god, I'm really rallying this guy. Come here, buddy. Come here. GG. I do think that the Z Pro Wireless is like better than any other mouse in, on the market right now, and holy fuck. Um, obviously, if you like like the glorious mouses, then I'm not gonna prevent you from buying them. I'm just telling you my opinion. Uh, and yeah, so it's, it's always about preference. So my preference is this, and I'm still gonna try to use this whenever I can. I'm probably gonna use this for other games where like it's weird for you to play on these games with this mouse. But yeah, I'm not gonna give up on this mouse yet. I'm gonna give it like another chance within the days when I get used to like get used to it. And yeah, that's it. I hope you all have a great day and bye.